how to produce a 3D Blu-ray disc using a 3D menu and with a 5.1 audio channel. Hi, in this tutorial I'll be looking at 3D Blu-ray disc creation. Choose a 3D menu and apply. There are a few more tasks to do before creating a 3D disc. Select an audio source for the background. Up pops the menu background music dialog box to help select and play the audio chosen. Once located, the audio can be tested and applied to all pages, or just one. I've chosen all pages. A smart sound audio file can be used. Click on the icon to bring up the smart sound interface. Once selected, apply the changes. If like me you want to change back, go and click the apply music icon. We see the smart sound file has been converted into a 20 second WAV file and is located in one of PD's temp folders. A quick reselection brings the previous audio file back in. Check mark the options to suit and apply to all pages. Next I'll bring in a first play video. Playback mode. Three options are available. I have four unconnected video projects and I want the viewer to choose which to play. Play the selected title only is what I'm after. Now is a good time to check out the first play video. Ah, it works okay. Phew. The slideshow is an intro to what's coming in the series. Check the navigation layout before burning is a good idea. Next, select the 3D tab. Blu-ray disc is what I'm after. I'll select 5.1 channels for the surround sound rather than 2 channels. The one I chose is Dolby Digital, which was first developed for cinemas and now used in Blu-ray disc soundtracks. I've chosen 1920 by 1080. In the 3D output format, I've chosen 3D DD, Blu-ray disc, rather than the side-by-side, half-width, left-right. Select Burn to 3D. Final output dialog box displays. I have disc volume label and run as a letters. Yikes! Soon corrected. I'll check out configure drive and the selections available. Always good to have a look. I'm happy with everything and click OK. Click the start burn button next. The burning graphic displays. We just have to wait for completion now. After a while, good, a burning success. Click in OK and the Blu-ray disc pops out of the drive. Has completed. I explore the Blu-ray disc to see its structure and to find my way around. I don't think I clicked the preview button. Better late than never. The lead-in preview is a 2D video. The projects are 3D and they're stunning. You've seen how easy PowerDirector 10 creates a 3D Blu-ray disc. Next, it's your turn to have a go. 